going on Scorpio gang 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 hope all is well with you guys to my returning OG subscribers what's popping what's good to my newly subscribed hey y'all thank you for allowing the channel to continue to grow I really do appreciate that to my members only community I love you guys to the moon and back you know that this is always a Scorpio affair, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, anywhere you have Scorpio placements in your chart. Grab your boo, your hookah, your blunt, your spliff, your H2O, your orange juice, your coffee, whatever it takes, Scorpio, for you to tap into these energies. Like we always do around about this time, let those ads play for at least a minute so your girl can get all the credit from YouTube every time you donate to the channel. Your name goes into the Prosperity Raffle for a chance to win a free personal reading with me. If you'd like to book a personal reading, everything you need to know is in the description box below. Alright. I'm hearing somebody's about to have a career change. I feel like somebody, somebody, somebody's either resigning or they're getting fired, terminated from their job next week. I'm just hearing that. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. It's time for you guys to move forward. Some of you guys refuse to change. I'm hearing you you refuse to move in what God has blessed you with. So now God is going to move you forward. He has to, okay? It's divine timing. For some of you guys, I, I, I just heard you're going to find out that you're being involved in a third party. For some of you um, Scorpios, you're going to be finding out that you're pregnant or somebody's pregnant. I'm hearing too, I'm he I keep hearing LLCs and contracts. Somebody needs to LLC something that they don't even feel like is a business, but it's making you a lot of money. So you know the IRS is on it. I'm hearing LLC it to protect you. I'm also hearing get a bigger space, get a bigger space, stop being fucking stingy, get a bigger space, expansion, expansion, expansion. How do we expect to expand if we won't expand? Don't have this mentality of hoarding or like being, greed, being greedy. That's To me, that's an energy of being greedy. You know you need a bigger space for your business, but because you're pumping out of it and it's, it's comfortable for you, you don't want to expand. And God is looking for people who are going to, who are looking to expand. He's looking for expansion. Okay. I'm getting that. <clears throat> I'm hearing divine timing is on your side. If you move now. The lights flicking on and off is somebody trying to reach you from the other side. I hear somebody wondering about that. Like, why do my lights keep flickering? Why do my... Somebody's dryer could have gave out this week as well, and they're having to go to a laundromat. I don't know why that's significant. I feel like it's some type of sign. I feel like too energetically saying like our ancestors, they're trying to get that they're trying to get downloads to us by any means necessary. It's something about gifts being very pertinent right now. I don't know what's going on in the earth as far as the alignments or like the retrogrades or anything like that I, but I just feel like it's an urgency in the earth for messages to be delivered here okay that's why I say a lot of you Scorpios are going to be delivered a lot of different shit a lot of stuff is coming to light because you won't move forward it's stuff that you already know some some that you don't but it's going to be like in your face now in your face in your family face it's going to be something you can no longer sweep un under the rug and hide everything is being revealed it's time to move forward i keep hearing expansion elevation independence abundance all right let's get into it if somebody recently had um some blood work done i'm hearing this there's nothing wrong with your blood it's something else i think like somebody's looking for staph or some type of infection that's not what it is your overall energy on the bottom of the deck is the five of pentacles. Yeah. Somebody's living this mediocre life because it's routine. It's comfortable. Somebody going to a job day in and day out, working almost 12 hours, half half of the time the day is fucking long and can barely pay their bills. But, but because they're comfortable, they stay there. They keep complaining about shit, but they still there. They still feeling impoverished. They still feeling... 
you know, like somebody is not seeing their quality, their essence, you know, whatever it is, their experience, their craftsmanship. This is you, Scorpio. Somebody's not showing you your worth. Somebody's not treating you well here. That's just what I'm getting this time to go. <laughs> All right, let's see what else. I'm here too, but some of you Scorpios, you put somebody on ice. Like you had to. This person was doing too much. And when I say doing too much, I mean like sabotaging you. Betrayal. Somebody laying in the bed not happy for you. Wishing bad shit because they shit fucked up. Yeah, the seven of cups. I feel like too, y'all are dealing with somebody who's jealous of, you know, the amount of opportunities you're being afforded right now when they're not being afforded any fucking thing. I'm hearing too, a lot of you guys are, are like, you're, you're, you're catching hell right now and, it, and you can't even see your money because you're, you're getting this person's karma because you won't get the fuck out of the way and let them get their own karma. Who am I talking to? I can't play games no more. I just got to tell y'all this shit straight, straight like it's coming because that's how it's coming. It feels like to me your ancestors fed up because it's like you know what to do. And then on top of that, if you don't know what to do, just choose fucking one. It ain't like you limited. You limiting yourself. The world card in that shit. This cycle has to end. A lot of cycles have to end because a lot of new shit has to start. Who am I talking to? I'm hearing somebody, somebody's supposed to have been starting a podcast for two years now. And although you still been educating yourself on whatever this is, you just won't piss or get off the fucking pot. Like you full of all this information and research and you still second guessing yourself when really the education that you got from this is not what's going what's to deliver. It's going to be your gifts, your spiritual gifts. The knowledge has gotten absorbed. Come on with the shit. For some of you guys, somebody somebody is in your 3D telling you that you're not ready yet. And they're speaking about their limitations, not yours. They're not ready for your success. It's not the other fucking way around. Scorpio been waiting for this moment all their fucking life. Moving forward, yeah, the two of ones, you got the world in your hands, literally. You played this shit over and over in your mind a million times what you do if you get a million dollars. Now you got five million. What the fuck you gonna do now? Travel the world. But you have to be set free, Scorpio. A lot of Scorpios are being held spiritually. Not, 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 um, and, and, and it's not beyond your will. You want to be held. You've been actually, been actually holding yourself in place for this shit. Yeah, the Knight of Swords, whatever happened, just happened in reverse. That's the energy. You know, it's comfortable. Yeah, whatever. They do whatever they're doing. But I got my house. I got my car. I still got this, I still got that. But you, what you don't have is fulfillment and happiness and wholeness. Why? Because no matter what it is you want for yourself, Scorpio, God wants something better. And he's trying to get it to you. And it's almost like, you know, God tired of, tired of fighting with you about getting something good to you. Okay? Moving forward. The High Priestess. The Seven of Pentacles. The page of swords. Yeah, see, to me, it's like it's like whatever this is, you find you 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 found out this person, first of all, let's just be real, Scorpio. You know this person ain't no earthly motherfucking good. The high priestess, the seven of pentacles, and the page of swords, you intuitively know you found some solid solid concrete evidence that you know you know what i'm saying it's just like your spirit guy like our spirit guy is tired of this shit our ancestors most definitely because i keep hearing they want they want to see something in the earth in this 3d world that reflects them when they were here they, they're not seeing their reflection there's no mirroring going on with your ancestors and that's definitely a fucking problem i don't see how you can feel it ain't Scorpio. So I'm here. Stop, stop, stop with all this education shit when you know it's the, the high priestess. It's your spiritual gifts that's going to get you where you need to be. Just choose. Get the fuck from under this five of pentacles. Y'all got me cursing. 
Because I feel like somebody just hell bent on being unhappy, but they say it out their mouth and they leaving all these comments like they just want to be happy. Ain't nobody there. They can't find nobody good. Yes, yeah, because you're not good. You keep investing in some shit that you that you that you shouldn't be investing in that way. You should just be doing it. Stop investing and do it. The moon. I just feel like, you know, you 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 scared Scorpio to move away from this because you're scared you don't know what's gonna happen because you 50 or how old you have been in this marriage. You so uncertain about the timing and you gotta say, what the fuck are you talking about? Go. Don't matter about the uncertain. I'm the person trying to, I'm trying to get you to avoid this tower moment. Because I feel like this is your last opportunity, Scorpio, to avoid it. So it's just like tired of us not doing what we know, the inevitable. We keep crying and shit, telling God, you know, take this person out of my life or send me somebody who's going to love me and all this shit. And then it happened and you still don't do nothing. The overall energy on the bottom of the deck is the Ace of Cups. I feel like energetically saying some of y'all motherfuckers just need to love on y'all self and then y'all won't let people treat you like this. You know, because I feel like you got to be very, you know, like low vibrational or low self-esteem to let somebody out, out, out and out just treat you bad for no fucking reason, especially you being good to them. Like you, that's... You need self-love. You need self-appreciation. You need to know who the fuck you are. Because this person knows that they can do you like this. And I feel like they, they you know, they continuing and doing it. Because they've done it for years. You've allowed them to. What's this card to turn over? You're the devil. The first card on the five of pentacles. In reverse. For a lot of you Scorpios, y'all was y'all addicted to this person. Or y'all were addicted to this person? That's why y'all let this person do y'all like that. Like this person. And I don't feel like it was like. I feel like you was the person who had it. I feel like it was sexual. I feel like too this person could have always kept you in like this high or drunk ass. You know. State. When you around them. Like all y'all do is get high fucking drink or whatever this is. I feel like you. You stop doing that shit. You have a chariot. You like, fuck that shit. I can be victorious. I got to stop doing these drugs and shit and drinking and clear my mind. I got to stop degressing and moving slow with shit. The Knight of Pentacles. I'm telling you, this person took you off your course. They took you off your beaten path. And they knew they were doing it. And I feel like they still doing it with the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like they've been doing it all these years, however many years that is. And I'm telling you right now, just as sure as it's a God, I don't give a fuck. If you 50, 60, 70, it's a love out there waiting on you. It's somebody for every fucking body. Don't settle for this shit. Period. Just period. On the Seven of Cups, you had a hangman in reverse. Somebody needs to change their perspective. Somebody is seeing the glass half full and it's half empty. Or vice versa. Yeah, they go to the tower. Okay. So you got the tower in reverse right there, and here go upright. So some of y'all just refuse to choose. So so source is gonna choose for you. Yeah, the king of cups in reverse. This person is not a good father. This person is not a good husband or wife. Take it how it resonates. Flip, switch the roles. The king of cups in reverse. This person is very emotionally immature. They don't see shit for what it really is. This person, they almost give me Pisces energy, but it's cancer. They're like big fucking dreamers. And you like, get your head out that, out your ass. Or this is your spirit guys telling you to get your head out your ass, Scorpio. Because you got seven cups. Choose one. Because this cup ain't it. This fishy cup. This is the fishy cup you pick. I'm here to choose wisely. Make it make sense. Why is the world here for Scorpio? This person too, I feel like... I feel like Scorpio, this person they with the King of Cups in reverse too, they could have a they could be married. Yeah, the magician on the world. This person could be promising you the world or telling you all kind of shit that you don't believe or you feel like, you know, intuitively you feel like it's some bullshit. It is.
I don't know what this is, Scorpio, because it feel like you it feel like you've taken care of this person, but it feel like the energy that they they they're exuding this emperor energy, like they the powerhouse. And maybe they are in their marriage, but with you, it's like, uh, no. With the magician, the six of swords, and the world here, I just feel like this person promised you the world and they can't give you the world. And I feel like that's what you're realizing. The world is yours already, Scorpio. All you got to do is, is, is get it. You got the magician and the six of swords. The magician stands for you having everything you need spiritually and physically to move forward in whatever it is you want to. And then the six of swords is like back up. But in order for this to happen, to come into fruition, you got to end some shit. Yeah, the Ten of Wands. Because this shit back... I mean, this person was a lot of work. And nothing to return. Nothing returned to you for all this work you did with this person. This person, burdensome, they always complaining. They're never doing anything about it. And you always taking up the slack. That's just what I'm getting. But Source is moving you to calmer water, Scorpio. Why? Because it's time for you to meet... Who you supposed to meet, be where you supposed to be, and do what you supposed to do. I feel like this has just been a long journey for you. It almost gives me the energy of like the people who set out on a 40 day um trip and took them 40 years. Like it feels like that to me. But I feel like you're breaking free. You're realizing now what a burden it is. You're realizing that you're not living your life, living to your potential. You realize that's that's a bigger death. Than being with somebody and pouring into them and then they leave you and, and give you nothing in return. Yeah, the page of cups. Something definitely new happening in love and love. I'm here, you're gonna hear from somebody you you hadn't heard from in a long time. This could have been somebody, a childhood love or crush. Yeah, you got the high priestess twice. Scorpio. I'm telling your intuition and, and, and the things that the downloads that are coming to you now that they it's, I, I'm telling you, somebody keep having migraine headaches. Somebody been having migraine headaches all their fucking life. And it ain't, it, ain't, it ain't because of no condition. It's because of ascension pains and downloads that are not being pushed forward out of your fucking mouth. It's stuff you're supposed to be saying and doing and, 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 and you going to work for 12 hours. That's why your fucking head feel like it's about to bust open. You're the four cups. You bored as fuck, Scorpio. You bored. You bored with your life because you keep giving it the fuck away, bro. Damn. How many times can I say it? The Six of Cups in the reverse. Be done with that shit. The past is the past. It's over with. Stop crying over spilled milk. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Shit. The Knight of Swords in reverse. Why are you stopping? What the fuck are you? Why do you keep procrastinating? Why are you stopping, Scorpio? Because of somebody? Come on. We got to do better. That's just down on that. Here go the seven of cups again. I mean, your spirit guy just keeps saying, what the fuck is your problem? Here go the justice card. It's like you, it's like your lawyer telling you to show up to court. They're going to throw the case out and you don't show up to court. For them to throw the court, just for them to do the preliminary. Like, what the fuck is going on, Scorpio? I'm, I'm, come on now, bro. Y'all need to get it together. Justice on your side, everything on your side, and you still, you still, you still sleeping with this knight of fucking wands in reverse. Somebody who, who keep involving you in third party situations. You know, the high priestess, though, you know it's time to let go. The fool card, it's a lot of opportunities you're missing out. Good opportunities. Business opportunities. Connections. Love. Because somebody's, this new love is waiting for you, Scorpio. The Ace of Cups, yeah, the Four of Swords on the body, they waiting on you. They just patiently waiting on you to free your, your energy up from whatever the fuck this is. Yeah, the Nine of Swords. You still having anxiety about leaving this person. You still having anxiety about how you're going to be able to take care of you or your family or whatever this shit is. I'm here and you protected Go. You're going to realize, yes, that your Nine of Swords... Is running neck and neck with your nine of cups. But you got to leave that. You got to leave this energy. Who? The emperor in reverse. Somebody who projected some shit onto you like they the boss and they ain't got shit. They don't even know what the fuck they talking about half the time. But they trying to lead you somewhere. I doubt it. Seven of pentacles.
You got the Ten of Swords on the Seven of Pentacles. You ain't fucking with it no more. You tired of investing in this. I feel like you just seeing for yourself that this shit just ain't good. Like, it's like bumping your head against the wall. Like a crash dummy. The Page of Pentacles. I feel like if, if somebody was looking for a job or apartment or somewhere to get away from a situation, I'm hearing this going through. Everything you need going through. The eight, eight of Swords is in the reverse good. Because I feel like a lot of y'all need to concentrate on a lot about your thoughts. And even when those bad thoughts creep in, I'm hearing you need to hold them captive. You need to have some kind of something in place. As soon as they come up, you beat them down with three or four good affirmations here. I'm hearing keep moving forward. The page of swords is here. This person is always, always going to like stalk you, follow your social media. Why? Because they're a narcissist. And, and you left their ass. On the page of swords, you pulled the um, ace of pentacles. Yeah. This person, I feel like they were opportunists. Or opportunists. Or opportunists anyway. With that page of swords and ace of pentacles, I feel like this person found out how much money you had. or And look what's clarifying the page of swords. The page of fucking swords, y'all. Yeah, somebody was real focused on your money, Scorpio. Look, damn, then the ten of pentacles. Come on, guys. Somebody was really focused on your finances, on your business. Somebody really tried to steal your ideas. But I feel like it, the shit just didn't go with them because they didn't have the spiritual part of it. Yeah, this could be this could be a husband or somebody who ran your business in the ground. Or tried to. Or tried to. This person took a lot of money from you or something. Yeah, on the moon you got the seven of swords, the first energy out. I feel like, too, this person did a lot of shit you don't know about, Scorpio. But I'm here and just leave that bitch. It don't matter because they still deceptive even right now. If you with them right now, they still deceptive. And I feel like they good at it. They're real good at it. Yeah, the Ace of Wands. But you got a new passionate beginning starting. You, you're meeting somebody who who actually, they're, they're watching you as well. I'm hearing that. That's in the middle of your reading. So everybody is watching you right now, Scorpio. This new love interest is... You know, they're, they're being patient, but they're waiting on you to, you know, actually leave this alone because they want to build something with you. For a lot of you guys, I'm hearing somebody wants you to move in immediately. Like, they're like, well, you're like, well, I don't have anywhere to go. They're like, come, come go with me. I got you till you get situated. And they genu genuinely mean that shit. The towel in reverse, you got the hermit. Yeah. So I, f I feel like you duck off with this person. You accept the help. Yeah, the three of wands, you accept the help because you know you got to move forward. And I feel like Scorpio just energetically saying it could have went a whole lot better had you moved quicker. Yeah, that five of swords, they got that migraine headache again. I'm telling y'all. Y'all got to, y'all got to, y'all got to start performing. Y'all got to start, um, not performing. Okay, some of y'all need to start performing. The three of cups. Y'all have to start walking in your gifts. Y'all have to start embodying that shit. Actually using it. I, I, I just feel like the earth, whether it be the, the, the material part of the earth or like the spirit. I just feel like the whole universe is what I should have said. Okay, thank you, Source. The whole universe is like, it's drawing this shit now. It's like, it, it's almost like life support. The, the universe needs your gifts in the earth because that's the only way the shit gonna change. Everything else, the, the, the fucking ozone laying out, that's an illusion. What's really going on is we're fighting against principalities. The overall energy on the bottom of the deck is the strength card here. Yeah, I, I think a lot of people underestimate you because you're so loyal, Scorpio. You stay longer than most. You do long. You do more than most. And But when you're gone, you're gone. So I, I feel like energetically saying, you know, Scorpio, anybody that you dealt with in the past or in the future, it's a once in a lifetime thing with you. Either this person holds on, they get it, or they get the fuck on and they don't. So think about it like that. Trust me, love, passionate beginnings, people building with you, your wish, your wishes coming true. Scorpio, you holding that up, your ten of pentacles, your family dynamic. And right here with you missing the tower, you have the hermit, the five of swords, and the three of cups. Somebody, somebody is ducking off and, and, and regaining their strength, but you're still you're still having this these migraine headaches. Why? Because you're not tapping into what you need to tap into. Okay? I feel like it's as simple as you getting somewhere and getting quiet. Because it is a part of your um heritage. 
Your overall energy under heritage. Is that what I meant to say? So it's heritage? Okay. Soulmate. A lot of things just can't happen right now because you don't have any room. This is a Scorpio that hasn't done the work. You calling in a soulmate. You probably met a, quite a few while you were married, but you keep calling something in that you're not ready for. You don't have the space. It says, yes, this is your soulmate passion and honeymoon. Yeah, see, I just, and I feel like it goes quick like that. Retreat on the overall energy on the bottom of the deck. I just feel like a lot of y'all, y'all just don't know. Y'all fighting so hard to hold on to this job, to this relationship. It's almost like how you, you know, you hide your car at everybody's house because you ain't got the money. You said that when two weeks come, you're going to pay your car note and you'll be straight again. When two weeks come, something else happens where you get you can't pay it, so you're hiding your car, right? But it's like, it's something about you seeing your car on the back of that bitch, though, that just gets you in a whole nother mindset. It just right then and there's something in you shifts. It's like, okay, how am I going to get to work? What do I need to do to get another vehicle? Do you understand what what's going on here, Scorpio? It's like God is putting you in a place where he have to he have to get that switch. He have to set that switch with you because you you going too far with this shit. That's just what I'm energetically getting. You going you asking for something that you're moving further away from and God is saying no come this way. And if this coming this way means you avoiding it, you you doing it avoiding the tower moment, okay, but if not, we're going to give you the tower moment to get you to this ace of cups, this ace of wands, this ten of pentacles, this three of pentacles, this three of cups, this nine of cups. What else you need, Scorpio? It's not you. You are blessed and highly favored. It's the people around you that you that are projecting all this shit onto you. And you getting their karma because you won't move out the fucking way and let them get their own. That's just that on that. All right, guys, you still with me? Hit that like, subscribe, join the members on the community. We love to have you there. Every time you donate to the channel, your name goes into a prosperity raffle for a chance to win a free personal reading with me. Let those ads play for at least a minute so your girls, so your girl can get all the credit from YouTube and continue to grow. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video.